welcome back people of the internet today we're gonna take a little stroll in the extravagant and skyscraping if you can call it that way Panama City it's quite quite windy guys so I'm gonna try to talk uh, straight to the microphone you know it's always gonna be a little bit of wind when you get uh, closer to the sea uh, closer to the seaside but uh, yeah, you know, hopefully uh, talking directly to the camera is going to help a little bit. Check out the views, guys. You know, skyscrapers pretty much uh, everywhere you look, and as well as uh, fishing boats. You know, some of these fishing boats, though, look quite old. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how comfortable certain people would feel, uh, you know, catching fish in some of these, but I guess, you know, uh, function over form, right? So. Uh, Definitely, if they're still here, they serve a purpose. But check out that skyline, guys. It's just incredible. It's quite, quite large. I've seen a couple of uh, views from uh, uh, El Dorado, the neighborhood where I'm at, which is uh, located, you know, somewhere around there. Because you can see the peaks of the skyscrapers. It's uh, located on a few hills. So here's a better view of the Beltway going around the old city and it loops all the way around uh, they have a pretty nice promenade here as well and uh, you can kind of see uh, you know some parts beats and pieces of the old city as well it's quite colorful and uh, looks like they have a whole bunch of flags here which is pretty cool you know people come here tourists kind of take uh, they can take photos with the, their flag and so on so this is the old part of the city. That's how it looks like, you know, with the beautiful, beautiful architecture. It looks like it's uh, very well maintained as well. So just made it to Plaza de la Independencia, which is one of the main uh, attractions here in the old city. And uh, it's a beautiful cathedral. So this is how the cathedral looks like inside. You know, the floor is quite unique, you know, I have not seen this, uh, you know, chess design in a church before. You know, overall, it's the, overall it still has the colonial look. Beautiful architecture overall even though there's still uh, quite a few buildings uh, being uh, reconstructed, refurbished, uh, you know, everything else is uh, quite, uh, quite phenomenal, very well, uh, very well uh, put together. So just around the corner from Plaza de la Independencia, we got Plaza Simon Bolivar, you know, with, uh, which features a nice uh, architecture as well, no doubt, I mean, the whole city. The whole old part of the city has some really nice architecture. Uh, and here we have uh, another church as well. Here's the inside of uh, San Francisco Church. The one that I uh, just showed you from the Plaza Simon Bolivar. You know, clearly looks uh, that it's a new construction. At least newer than uh, the previous one that I just showed you guys. So here we have a more uh, modern representation of Jesus. Uh, more, you know, kind of graffiti-wise, but not exactly. Uh, this is very, very similar to uh, one of the paintings I have seen in Ljubljana, Slovenia, which was actually kind of a pure graffiti of Jesus, one of the first that I have seen. So uh, yeah, you can go and check my uh, Insta stories from uh, Ljubljana, and uh, you'll definitely see uh, the similarity more architectural beauty here in downtown Panama City check out uh, you know most likely this is a hotel but uh, it's, uh, it's quite quite nice very well put together and if you go on the alleyways all the way on the south side of the city you can find a little bit you know, I have no idea if, uh, if it's for public use or for what, there's no one here right now, but uh, yeah, it's still, uh, still interesting to have a beach right close to the, you know, to the city, to the colonial architecture. 
and again uh, here's the continuation of the of the belt that I showed you guys earlier as well that pretty much surrounds uh, the city the old part of the city So here we have uh, Panama Canal Monument, which is actually dedicated to the French. Uh, and reading this uh, plaque right here, it looks like uh, it was uh, dedicated to pay tribute to the failed French effort to build a canal in the Panamanian uh, Isthmus during the 19th century. So, uh, uh, you know, interesting that, uh, you know, they uh, dedicated a, you know, a monument to something that was never accomplished but I guess uh, it was uh, you know the beginning the start uh, you know uh, what uh, what put the what put the fire into place even though uh, you know it was uh, completed later on and from the top of the stairs of the monument you can see a little bit of the city you know on the coast here check out that uh, humongous bridge right there yeah, it looks like uh, public transportation goes on it as well from uh, the little trucks and uh, vehicles that we can see. And here we have even uh, you know more uh, churches that uh, looks like they were in ruin. This one is called La Campania, and you know it was never actually finished. And then I believe an earthquake affected it uh, even more. So uh, all we have is uh, you know the long last uh, memories of it. So here we have another church, guys. Uh, it's actually, you know, quite, quite uh, the number of churches for a small little old town that Panama City has. You know, they have the ones in ruins and they have the main two churches and the main two plazas and then a, a few on the side as well. So uh, this one is the Church of uh, San Jose. And uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. So although uh, this may just seem like a regular park, uh, you know, the big wall that you see right here used to be part of the fortification of the old city of uh, Panama. And, uh, you know, you don't have uh, much left of it, but, uh, you know, it's still, it's still good to have, you know, bits and pieces of, uh, of a place's history, no doubt. And like any other city, right, uh, you gotta have the graffiti side as well. The remnants of what it used to be a basketball court from what it seemed like. Jumping on the other side of the pond to take a look at the modern part of the city with the skyscrapers. We're gonna do a little bit of walking in order to get there. And here we are. Pretty big, pretty big, pretty big. A lot more. Uh, a lot more construction on this side, no doubt. You know, uh, one of the things about skylines, especially big skylines like this, you know, they're so spread out. Like in this case, you know, you see a lot of gaps between the buildings and all that, but when you go on the opposite side to go and see a panorama, you know, that completely looks different. It looks like they're all squeezed together, which is, uh, which is not the case. So, although the infrastructure is uh, completely on point, guys, you know, there's quite a few people, actually, barely no one right here, uh, besides uh, the promenade. So, uh, we're going to take a look on the other side, where this bypass is, and hopefully there are more people. You know, I do see a Panama sign right there on that side, so, you know, hopefully that's where the, the action is. But yeah, here is uh, quite, quite quiet, you know, park-wise. This is definitely, uh, you know, a great, great view of the city, you know, the cars going by. This would have been a perfect spot for some nice photography. Buildings lit up and then, you know, you get the nice uh, trail of lights uh, if you do a long exposure, you know, from the cars. That would have been, would have been perfect.
and the city sign you know still not enough people no doubt compared to the all part of the city there were quite quite a few people there here there's barely anyone you know they have some fountains or not really i guess just a playground here with water and a colorful city sign and uh, you know barely barely anyone but again you know this is pretty much where you can see uh you know how tall the skyscrapers really are so this is uh you know the path along the promenade you know they have a bike lane they have a special spot uh, just for walking and you know it kind of goes uh, all the way around it's you know it's very well uh, it's very well organized no doubt uh, again not that many people and it's a sunday right so it's kind of it's kind of odd why uh, there are not that many people you know the the weather is not bad at all around the uh, 29 30 celsius you know a little bit cloudy so uh, you don't get that sunburn but overall pleasant just uh, not sure exactly why this part of town does not get as many people. One thing that I uh, think all big cities should have is this uh, lane specifically for ambulances. You know, in this case, it looks like the fire uh, department, the police, the buses, and the taxis have uh, you know priority as well. But they definitely, definitely for ambulances in big cities where it can get very congested, you need a lane specifically for ambulances. You know. It's save so many lives and uh, you know it's crucial no doubt getting closer to uh, downtown it looks like uh, yachts and different type of boats uh, starting to appear check out how narrow this building is it looks like a knife or a you know shogun from here uh, Panama City looks more like uh, Dubai Marina rather than anything else So I've been walking for around uh, three and a half kilometers, guys, and uh, you know, skyscrapers all around the, it's a big, big city center. You know, you see it from, uh, from far away, you think it's more compact, but it's uh, quite large, no doubt. And uh, you know, you got uh, all types of uh, hotels here, you know, all the name brands, you know, most likely you got some uh, financial, institutions as well and you know it's you know i mean look at those uh, buildings right there they're like stuck to one another you know there's a little gap between each other but everything is just grand it's colossal no doubt so without a doubt uh, this building right here in premium is the one that's uh, gonna capture attention when you see the skyline of uh, panama city so i'm gonna try to go a little bit at the bottom and uh, kind of check it out from there as well but uh, it looks like it's uh, made out of Lego. Guys, going from the colonial side of the city to the modern part of the city, it's completely different, you know, 100% different. You know, you got high-end restaurants here, you got high-end uh, stores, you got these type of buildings right here, guys. Just incredible, check it out. You know, that Lego look-alike building that I told you guys, that I showed you guys earlier. It's phenomenal, no doubt. I'm gonna switch the side a little bit so you guys can see it better, you know. I mean, I'm on this, I'm in this position specifically for the sun so I can get that nice, uh, you know, flare look with the building, but uh, it's just spectacular, no doubt. One of the cool things about uh, getting off at a random metro station is uh, you never know what type of architecture you'll find. Like, uh, you know, at El Carmen metro station, uh, you know, you got the uh, St. Carmen uh, Metropolis, you know, Cathedral, Iglesia, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, definitely, you know, uh, a beautiful surprise. Check out the architecture. So guys, ending the episode here at uh, Panorama Point in uh, El Dorado, a neighborhood uh, just north of uh, Panama City that has some outstanding views of the whole skyline. Check it out. So until next time, peace.